Today, you'll be completing a tutorial on how to use some of the um, functions in iMovie to create a documentary style video. So the first thing I want you to do is to open up your web browser to Google and I want you to type in KeepVid and go to that website. In another tab, I'd like you to open up YouTube and to type in Aaron Ralston interview. Then click on the first video that comes up. When I think about the... And grab the URL. Press Command C, copy it, and paste it in that Keep Vid um, website. So um, Command V, and press Enter. Don't press Download, press Enter. Now this will come up with a range of files for you to use and we want to use the first one, the mp4 version. What it will do is it will download it into your browser. Then once that has downloaded you can simply uh, save it onto your desktop. Then the next thing that you want to do is you want to open iMovie. and you want to a new movie. Now it will give you a range of themes as options and we're going to choose no theme. Simply title it then the, the first thing that you want to do once you have your uh, documentary space ready to go is you want to import your footage so we've saved Aaron Ralston onto the desktop and now we import that and here it is. So double click on the footage that um, imports into this section and then drag it down into your working space. You'll notice that it's quite condensed. So what you want to do is you want to go over to the right hand side and zoom in to expand that clip. When I think about the the week of April 26th to May 1st, 2003, there was what came before and there's what came after. It was Now to move around your footage, you can use your cursor and just uh, click on different there bits was what that you want to play came from, before. or you can use the space bar. When I think about the, the... To start playing and to pause and... And it's really important because later on we're going to be using the cursor to stop at specific points and to click the clip. Now the first thing that we want to do is we want to detach the audio. In documentaries you'll often see that um, different images coming on your screen while the interviewer and interviewee transcript continues, the dialogue continues beneath it. And we're going to do the same thing. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to move our cursor onto this blue bit, which is the sound. We want to put our finger on control and click at the same time. So that's control and click, and it will come up with all of these options. The option that we want is we want to detach the audio from the image. So that way we have the sound as a separate file to the images that are playing. Uh, now what we'll do is we'll choose a section about here where we uh, do a similar thing. We put our finger on control and we click at the same time and we press split clip. And we're going to replace, you'll see how it's detached itself there, we're going to replace this section of video with an image. And then we'll continue and we'll, um, we'll click about here and we'll press split clip. Okay, now this is 2.5 seconds of footage that we'll be replacing with an image. Once we have our selection of video that we've chosen to clip that we'll be replacing with an image, it's important to take note of this little number here, 2.5 seconds. That means that there's 2.5 seconds worth of footage that we'll be replacing with a still image. Now the reason that that's important is that sometimes when we click and drag the image on, over the top, when you let it go, these options will come up and we click replace. That footage actually goes for four seconds. So we need to grab the end of it and drag it back 
until it says 2.5 seconds. Now, when we play this clip up here, you'll see that the audio will stay the same behind the image, um, but the image will change. When I think about the, the week of April 26th to May 1st, 2003. And that's often what you see in a documentary. Now, to make that transition even smoother, we can uh, go over to the side here, and there are a number of transitions that you can use in between. So, for example, if we use a cross dissolve, we just place it between the footage and the image. Um, we might use a, a mosaic here. And what these do is they make the transition between one thing into another um, smoother or different. When I think about the, the week of April 26th to May 1st, 2003, there was what came before. So once you have these basic techniques of cutting, uh, replacing um, images and video and detaching the audio, um, you'll be set to start creating that documentary style film.